syllabus for English 101A. What is this MLA? Is it like the National Rifle Association? Well, this may be kind of a long story. Can we get a cup of coffee first? No, I really need to know this for my class. MLA is an organization, the Modern Language Association. Here is their website, mla.org. They are more interested in academic writing than the rights of gun owners. They do a lot of different things related to scholarship in language and the humanities, but for English students at Ohlone College, I guess, the most important thing they do is publish the MLA Handbook. The Style Bible for Academic Writing. So if you have questions about how to cite a source or how to integrate text and quotations into your paper, the handbook is a place to go. Okay, so in my search I found all these different sources of information that I want to quote and integrate into my paper. I found books, I found electronic books, I found articles from journals that I got from different library databases, I found information on websites. My instructor said that I have to create a citation for each source that I used in my paper. What is a citation anyway? Well, if you quoted or paraphrased from a source in your documented essay or research paper, you have to have a citation for that source on your work cited list. It's not so bad, especially if you kept good records when you were doing your research. That's the key. Good records. Well, I do try to keep good notes and records of the sources I found and read during my research. Okay, this is sort of messy, but they're still good notes. That looks pretty good because your research notes include a lot of information you're going to need to create a citation. A citation is specific information about a publication, kind of like who, what, where. There are different styles of arranging this information. At Ohlone College, in English classes, we use MLA style. Sources like print books are pretty easy because you can usually find all the information you need for citation. Like for a print book, author, title, edition, place of publication, publisher, date of publication, and format. Okay, so I see where you find the information to make the citation, but how do you know what order to put everything in? My English 101A instructor told us that this guide is a good place to start. Say, that looks handy. Where did you get that? You can find this sample work cited entries MLA format on the Ohlone College Library homepages. See, it even shows how to cite articles from databases and information that you got from the web. Wait, you mean sources that I got from the web are different? Now I need coffee. I will never get this, and most of the sources that I used are from electronic books and periodical databases that I use from the library website. This can be kind of complicated, but it's not impossible. Take a look at how you would cite an electronic book. It is mostly the same way you cite a print book. You have to include a couple of extra things because you got the ebook from the web. What about articles that I got from periodical database like Academic Search Premier? It's exactly the same as for an article from a print magazine, but you have to add information about where and when you accessed it and the format. I noticed that the EBSCOhost database, like Academic Search Premier, will create a citation for you. Can I just cut and paste the computer-generated citation for the periodical article directly into my works cited list? Yeah, a lot of the databases have a feature that will make a citation for you. They're pretty good, but you always have to double-check to make sure they're right. Like, look at this. I found five mistakes. There's no period after the author's name. There are words in the title of the article that should be capitalized. And you don't have to put the name of the company that makes the database, just the name of the database. Well, there are all those websites that create the citations for you, and I even heard that Microsoft Word will create citations for you. Those are all good ideas, but those little blank boxes aren't much use if you don't know what to put into them. That's why you kind of have to know what the different parts of a citation are. Okay, so let me get this straight. First, I can save a lot of time by keeping really good records when I search, that I don't have to go look up stuff again. Second, I can use the Ohlone College Library MLA Stidal Sheet because it shows how to make a citation for different things like ebooks and websites. Third, I can use the computer generated citations, but I always have to double check to make sure they are right and I have to know what the parts of citation are so I know what to put into the blank boxes, like on Word. Fourth, if I really get stuck, I should look at the MLA Handbook to figure out how to cite sources. They have copies of the MLA Handbook at the reference desk at the Ohlone College Libraries at Fremont and Newark. You got everything right, except for one last thing. Now what? Why, coffee, of course.